Okay, you'll notice that we have just a little bit of clearance there. I think it's like a half a millimeter. Now, let's hide the top by hovering here, hide the top. Let's make a shell of this. And if we grab our shell tool and just click on the top surface and let's change it to be three millimeters thick. See if it'll do it. Look at that, it did. Cool. Um, so it just shelled our box. If it didn't, for you, change the shell thickness to something thinner, it might work. And then you can build out each wall individually. Now, look at that. We've got, it kind of took out that shell to go away some of that circle. So I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and put that circle back in there. And so I'm going to sketch on, what do we do on this surface here? Actually, let's, let's not do that. I'm going to first um, push this little bit of wall down. So I'm going to extrude that surface and remove, oh, probably five millimeters. Maybe even, well, let's see. Let's look at the top when it sits in there. I think I need to do five and a half. I want just a little bit of clearance there. So now you can see there's just a little gap there between the lid, the top, and that bottom. So now nothing is overlapping. Cool. The problem I wanted to fix though, let me hide the top, is this, it's kind of ugly here, this little bit. So I'm gonna put that circle back in that the shell removed. So now let's sketch on that surface Grab our circle and see if we can find the center of this guy. Yeah, look at that. And I'm gonna go from there. It's not finding that. So if I click use this guy and click on that. Now when I sketch, let's try that again. Grab my circle tool. Go from here. It's gonna find. Oh, yeah. That's good. Well, it's not finding it. Oh well. You can just type in eight. I guess you don't need the use tool. Or it should have worked, but anyways, eight will, if I extrude that and add, I don't want a new one, and that was 10 millimeters, that distance, and switch to the other direction, and now, look at that, it just filled that little bit of the circle back in. That looks better. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm not going to use the use tool, I'll just... Do my sketch on that surface and grab the circle, find the center right there. And come out to here and make that eight. And do my extrude. And that was 10 millimeters in the other direction. And make sure it's adding, not making a new part. And there it is. Okay, cool. Now, Let's uh, hmm, let's fix the top here. Let's get to that top. Let's hide the bottom. And uh, what I want to do is put a little bit of space here between the top and the bottom. So let's hide the bottom. I'm going to push that surface in. So it extrude it. I think I just need to do like half a millimeter and remove material. Sweet. Let's see what that looks like with the bottom in there. Yeah, just a little bit of gap there. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Hide the bottom and extrude that half a millimeter in the removed direction. Sweet. Now let's look at the bottom and the top there. Got a little bit of clearance everywhere. That's awesome. Cool. So now, let's hide, actually, we'll do that in the next video. So far, so good.